today we are trying to solve the pressed challenge all i know about the challenge is that it's linux and i think that's it i like that the info for this machine is just empty we will create a, a host entry in our vms thingy thingy and it will be pressed htp all right fantastic all right so i have a couple of cheat sheets and i almost always just use this nmap one boom now the question is i can't copy paste into my vm fantastic I set up this this VM fantastically. So we have nmap pp p with a min rate of 1000 and t4 oa and we do an all port scan and we want just to open up pressed.htb like this and this is the way we get all the ports. While we're still waiting for all this what's it called and map scan to finish if you like my t-shirt which it says binary is for computer in binary you can get it i will pin it so you can find it as well on the live stream if you want to get this t-shirt it supports the channel it supports me and it enables me once a lot of people buy it i can then start maybe do weekly or daily streams but for now let's just have fun with hacking so as far as i saw we have just a port 80 okay that's crazy uh let's try it we have port a and then we do the scripting engine stuff the versioning stuff we output it again full scan pressed dot htb and since we know that it's port 80 we can go to press tb now in the meantime let's just launch burp suite and wait wait why is it what i what wh why isn't it dark mode all right if you didn't notice i had to set up my vm again so let's call this burp log and this is for the pressed htb start so let's quickly change the appearance to be dark mode because i don't want to have blind viewers by the end of this all right fantastic now that this is done and set up the scan has also finished and here i have to type in http slash pressed so we have wordpress 5.9 this sounds like it's extremely vulnerable what's the newest version of wordpress so the newest one is 6.5 i guess i'm pretty sure we can hack into this one some way or another but i have to say i like this design of this website i may have to steal it just a heads up maybe future changes on my blog if i ever do anything with the blog again all right so we have this website let's explore a little bit into the website while we drink our steaming hot cup of coffee with elliot alderson on it aka hackerman aka mr robot aka the mastermind aka what's happening here okay. i'm a bit confused but for now this has nothing to mean anything so let's just try simple and tested things like script alert document how do i say the domain how do i get domain window origin i think it is let's try it with window.origin and then script and the tag you know why we use the window origin instead of the alert one as always and a valid email address we do that because if it's in an iframe we get the origin of the iframe all right so let's do a test at test.com the rest we can keep it and now it's taking longer but it looks like it got escaped or did my browser accidentally block it i don't know if brave is like has automatic protection against xss attacks i mean that would be cool but i doubt it so we have the comment yes the website so isn't it usually okay so it's escaped and here we do have https uh, youtube.com did it do something yes okay so now the link works all right i think we found out what we came here for let's just look for vulnerabilities on this wordpress website or on this wordpress version what is it 5.9 <laughs> 5.9 like in mr robot i mean i'm pretty sure we can go in here and just tell it to wp admin haha <laughs> We have the login screen. Let's go to hack tricks and this one and this one. We, we could try it with WSP scan. Do I have it installed? Haha, I have it installed. Now I just need to know how to use it. Let's install TLDR. 
so I don't have to read the manual. DC, come on, I can't pronounce it. Deserialization of untrusted data. Admin plus PHP file upload. Oh, okay, so maybe we can upload a reverse shell <laughs> once we are admin or once we have a, a user. WP scan, let me know how this works. Okay, so let's VP scan update. First, I know you can't see it because my face is in the way, but sometimes you have to suffer and see my face instead of what I'm doing because that's how YouTube works. And now let's do just a scan. WP scan URL followed by whatever this one is. HTTP slash slash pressed .htb. And now we wait. Oh crap. We have a configuration file that we can read. Oh no. Why? Why? Okay. It doesn't look like we really have it. When I try to download things, Brave is just buggy as hell on Linux or on Kali ARM specifically. I don't know if you have the same experience as I do, but every time it needs to download something, it like blocks the entire browser. I'm not too happy about that. Maybe it's because I'm using an ARM Linux. I don't know. On my main machine, it runs flawless. But enough of the talky talky. Let's go into this. Come on. Let's go into the nitty gritty of the pressed thingy. What do we have? Huh? I mean, didn't I just download it? Keep it. Hey, hey, hey. My browser is trying to tell me what I can and can't do on my machine. What's happening here? Okay, I'm sorry for being stupid, but where the hell is this? It's impressed, right? Impressed. Get it. Uh, why is it here as what the hell is happening with my terminal? For some reason, it's in black. Okay, maybe because it's a dot .bag file, but let's just vim this file. Oh, 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 we have a database name and a database password. Now, the great thing would be if we, for some reason or for, for one way in one way or another, we could actually access this database, which I doubt. Maybe we have, maybe we, we, we are locked and admin actually reuses the password. So let's hope it works if I copy paste it like this. Let's close this one. Let's try. I didn't copy it. Okay. So let's do it the old fashioned way by catting w config and then get this password over here. Boom, boom, copy. Let's go to the website. Let's log in. My username is admin and my password is not the one that I copied, apparently. All right. So let's take a quick look at what else we found. We could do user identifiers enumeration, a password guessing attack. But I mean, ah, do we really? I'm, I always feel if we have to resort to brute force, I always feel like at least on hack the box challenges there is a more elegant way to solve these issues that we're encountering we have a xml rpc login that we could run run with metasploit okay but it's back to brute forcing here it's crazy that they left this on the machine we have wp cron which now is gonna take forever because it needs to download it again and my browser is now frozen 